Metro TR1 shows 1097 in the area. What are we looking for? A Glock. Yeah, I think that's what they said. Alright, I'm gonna look for some. I'm gonna put some gloves on. God knows what's around here. I do not want a needle in me. Or some sort of residue off some dirty condom or something. No, thank you. Yeah, that needle's out here. Can't be clean. Alright. Um, you want to check these couple of dumpsters? I'll go in front of the car down there a bit and have a look. Yeah, let's start over here. Alright, we need to speed up our walk just a tad. Alright, we're just looking for a gun that was in a crime. We had to chase someone on foot. Um, but we lost eyes on them, but they went down here somewhere. So we're just checking to see if they tossed the gun anywhere. have a look in here. Hmm, nothing. Alright, we'll lift up the lid. That's not good. That's what I was afraid of. Not good, not good, not good. Uh, I don't want to take it out. Not good. Not good, not good. Officer! Um, we have a problem. What? Um... I was... I opened the lid on one of these bins and went to lift up and now I have a needle stuck above my... or just below my vest, right side, in the... stomach. Those, those gloves really helped you out a lot, didn't they? Feck me. Um, I'm just debating whether I want to pull it out or not. I mean, is it in there deep or? Hmm. About to find out. Oh. Hmm. Not just a little prick. I'm gonna want to get that looked at. Uh, there's a little bit of blood there on my glove. Great. Just great. Um, I guess we better head to the hospital. Yeah. You want to drive? Yeah, I can drive. Don't pass out on me now, dude. Uh, I don't think I will. I'm just more worried about what was in... Who's used that needle. Mm. 
This isn't a good part of town either. No, it's really not. What's the worst thing that could happen? I'm sure I'm fine? Uh, the worst thing? I don't know, do you really want to know? No, I, I'll be fine. I'm, I'm sure that everything will be okay. All right. All right, you go get signed in. I'll go park the car. Oh, I hope that doctor's not here. That good-looking one. Oh, you know, you sure you didn't get stabbed intentionally just so mm, you see you're, it? You're funny. Go and park the car, officer. somebody oh great you need assistance sir um yes is there a nurse or somebody I can see um I think the on-call nurse is on break is there anything I can do for you um I was searching a dumpster and I seem to have got a needle in my stomach It was down in South, Lo South Los Santos, down near the gang area. So it's probably a junkie's needle. Yep, okay. Um, I'm just going to admit you then for a moment. I'm going to get you checked out. Let me just get paperwork here. Okay. Okay, and you're good to walk, is that right? You don't need a wheelchair or anything? No, I'm not dying yet. Okay. Alright, so if you just come with me. Um, what do I do with the needle? Because I have that in my pocket. Does... Who am I giving that to? Do you want that, oh. officer? What do you want the needle, Doctor? Um, the I'll Doctor could probably put it in the bio yeah. bin so that somebody else doesn't end up getting whatever you have. Uh -huh. Let's just go into the room and I'll get you a baggie. Come can you, can you find me another doctor or nurse? I don't want to be seen by her. Oh, why are you nervous? No, should I be? A little sweaty there. I'm fine. I just that's that's a hot doctor, isn't it? Mm, like her. No comment. All right, go ahead into this room right here. You can take a seat or lie down. We're gonna need you to take uh, the gear off. Uh, excuse me? You said he got poked in your stomach? I hope that wasn't... F I hope you're not flirting with me, Doctor. I hope you mean, like, my vest or something. Sir, she just meant the vest, dude. Come on. Yeah, you're not really up to my standards <laughs> there, bud. I meant the vest. <laughs> does, does he have to be in here? Haven't you got... Some paperwork to fill out, officer? What? I don't have any paperwork. I wasn't the one that got stabbed by a needle. Mm-hmm. If he does want you out, you do have to leave. <laughs> do you want oh. him gone? He doesn't want me gone. No, he's fine to stay if he shuts his mouth. Up to the patient. Okay. Are you allergic to anything? Do you smoke? Any conditions I should know about? No.
All right, let me just... Where do you have that syringe? I'll just put in the plastic bag. Uh, here you go. We'll test it out. All right, thank you. Just gonna place that to the side. So how have you been, Sarah? Wait, I do know you. Hmm, well you should. I escorted you home. Yeah, you're that freaky... Oh. Freaky boy cop. Mm hmm that's not what you said when I took you home. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you were just hallucinating. Oh. PTSD, it's a real thing. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure there's not another doctor or nurse that can look at this? Someone who might know what they're doing? I'm the chief of surgery. I know what I'm doing. Oh. Although I could get you an intern. They might kill you. Okay, no. Actually, I think I'll keep you as the doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm just going to clear this off with uh, alcohol-based. Just clearing that wound. I should do this, actually. I am going to have to take some blood um, and screen for some preliminary diseases. Um, is that okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me just lift up my shirt for you. Yeah, well, looks like somebody's trying to show off. Oh, I have to take off my shirt so she can get blood and look at the hole. Mm, all right. Oh, there wasn't much Lieutenant? to show off anyway. No. <laughs> I guess those workouts aren't paying off. I don't work out, I just look like this. That would explain a lot. Got my good looks from my mum, you know? Did you? Okay. You had to stab me like that? Yeah, I know. I've been stabbed enough today. You chose the wrong line of job then. No, I love my job. I just don't know why we were looking in dumpsters for a gun. Wonderful. Alright, I'm just gonna run this to the lab, see what they say. I'll be back. Okay. Try not to take your pants off while you're at it. Why would I do that? You don't need to look down there. Anyways, excuse me. What was that? Nothing, Lieutenant. Nothing. Yeah, that first word you just said. You remember that one? Get her number yet? How would you like to wash all the patrol cars for the next week? Seems a bit harsh. Mm, you keep going and you'll find out. But to answer your question, I do have a number, yes. I just haven't rang her because, I don't know, we're being busy. It's because you're scared. No. What if I get AIDS or HIV or something from this? I mean, that'd be real unfortunate. What if I do though?
doctor here okay. can help you out. What's what's that? Tell me, have I got a HIV? Have I got AIDS? What what's what's wrong with me? Tell me. Okay, well, I'm going to be straight up with you. It is there's a big possibility um, that you could have Hep C, HIV, any of those diseases. Um, I'm going to start you on broad spectrum antibiotics. Um, the text will take about an hour to process the syringe, and we'll let you know. Uh, I recommend. Um, possibly to start the drug for HIV, um, just in case. Better be safe than sorry, but it's completely up to you. Am I allowed to go back to work? Um, seeing as there's no physical um, damage to you, the wound seems to be fine, I've cleaned it. Um, you should be good to go. If any rashes develop, you're gonna have to come back in. If you feel any lightheadedness, shortness of breath, cough, fever. And I should avoid touching or performing CPR or mouth to mouth on anybody. Yeah. Great. I would say uh, stick to paperwork for now. You okay? Fine. Doesn't seem like it. You want to talk about it? Nope. I think right, I saw a tear. Something. I did, did not you... do anything about a tear. Well. Do I have to stay in here and wait for the test, or am I free to go once this is done? Uh, you're free to go. I gave you your antibiotic shots. I've warned you. Come back if you feel any of the symptoms. Just take this pamphlet and you'll be good to go. I'll uh, have the tech give you a call if they find anything on the syringe. Okay. I'm sure he'll be back. Even if he doesn't have any symptoms. What's that supposed to mean? Um, yeah. Nothing. Thanks, Doc. No problem. Can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah. What are the chances of me getting one of these symptoms or issues? Um, I honestly, you came in pretty quick. When was, what time did this happen? Hmm, about an hour ago. I would say you're going to be just fine. I've had people come in, um, no, no diseases, nothing like that. They, the course of antibiotics I just gave will probably kill off anything. If anything's even in there, you should be fine. Okay, thanks. No problem. Sarah. Yeah. Um, by the way, I'm sorry I haven't called. Oh, it's okay. I kind of forgot you existed. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, if everything's okay, though, when I know, um, I'll call you, though, okay? All right. Okay. Oh, Nick's all sad. What, you went and grabbed the car? Yeah, I figured you know, I might be a little weak in the knees uh, after a conversation with a good doctor. Please. There. So, when's the date? 
I didn't ask her. As if she's going to want to go out on a date with someone who's possibly got HIV or something. I'm literally a walking time bomb. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you're fine. It's a thing, though, we don't know. In total, any unit in the area of 514 Smith's Way, a, a drive, any hey club. There. I'm hoping it's gonna be a nice weekend. I'm hitting the beach. What postal? I know what you mean. X ray 535, what was the postal? 514 Smith's Way, drive. I'm about six blocks away if there's a closer unit. I'm uh, next to the golf course at 662. Unless uh, you're close to 525. I'm about the same distance. We can both roll that way if you want. Careful. X-ray 535, show me in route. I copy. Reference cat for further details. Can't be an emergency, he didn't say anything on the radio. Fuck you! Fuck you, bruv. Pull over up here and we'll just quickly take a look at the MDT. I kinda wanna know what we're walking into. What the fuck do you think you're doing? You have to get mashed! Clips, coffee shop. Some ladies hit the no one. What's the postal? Oh yeah, the coffee shop, okay. Makes sense. Thought it was more closer to my house, actually. All right, we'll go ahead and roll that way, though. Not really sure what it's about. X-ray 535. Go ahead. Can you advise what the call's about? My MDT seems to be slow. Copy, no one color, but it's uh, being hit in the head and... Hit in the head. Five thirty five, you said someone was hit in the head. Air for five one eight is arrival. No copy. Five thirty five, same traffic. Ten four. Metro five four, show me on road to that. Whatever. Well. Right, copy. Officer. Hello. Did you say you were 1098 tonight? How are you? So, um, yeah, I don't know, right? How about you? Not too bad. Yo, what do you do? Hey guys, you, anybody witness an assault around here? No, X-ray 535, can we get AMS no? to this okay. location? Ma'am, can you hear me? Roberts, is that you? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh my god. X ray 535B advised we have an off duty having... officer down. I was just getting coffee and this crazy bitch right, was coffee. talking to me and she whips me with the gun or something. Oh my god. Alright, have you still got your gun on you? Yes, I do. Alright, did she leave the building or is she still in here? She left. I got I got a good look at her though. Okay. Are you right to get up? How bad are you? 
Yeah, no, yeah, it's just... I think I can get up. Anybody up here witness an assault? I was in the back room. Okay, just, just slowly tell me what happened. Just take your time. So I just, I just came here to get uh, coffee, and I went upstairs into the private room, and this girl, she's just, she just comes into the room with me, and I'm just reading a magazine. Um, she kind of starts looking over at me. It's kind of creepy. She was watching me. I didn't think anything of it. Um, Need my notepad. She, she starts asking me um, questions. She was like, what do I do for a living? So I told her I was an officer. And then she was just saying she likes my outfit. And so I turn around to look at the picture that was behind me. It was like of a Ferrari. And I glance back and she has a gun and she just hits me with it. All right, can you tell me what she looked like? Yeah, she... She's a white female, short hair with orange highlights. Knock, knock. Um, Anybody? Hold on, white female, wearing... what was her hair color? Black no. with orange highlights. It's funny though, because I swear I... I think I've seen her before. Uh, the place is clear. Uh, I didn't see anybody much in the description, so she's not on scene. Go ahead. Okay. Um, was she taller than you, Roberts, or shorter? Uh, she was about similar height. Okay. Uh, what kind of clothing was she wearing? She was wearing like a black leather jacket that had no uh, arm straps and blue jeans with um, heels. Uh, what kind of heels? What color? They were black. They... They had like little... Dazzles on them. They're very weird looking. Okay, and you said and she I took off in a car? I think so. I saw her running and... Kind of... I don't know if it was just me hallucinating, but I swear I heard gunshots. Okay, so you said she was armed with a pistol? I believe so, yes. Handgun, uh, like a Glock or a revolver or a Sig or what? Do you know what sort of gun? I think it. I think it was a Glock. Okay. But I swear I've seen her before. I just can't remember where. Um. Okay. So let's go back to the car. Let's backtrack a little bit. Um. What sort of car? She was driving. Yeah, the car that she's she got away in. I have no idea. I didn't see it. Okay, was there any suspicious cars following you? That Have you seen any suspicious cars um, in the last few hours? Anything parked here when you got here? Well, when I was walking in, the most suspicious out-of-place car was... I mean... it was There was a Challenger and a few motorcycles, but that's about it. Alright, what color was the Challenger? Mm, it kind of looked black, but kind of tinted blue or green, like a pearlescent color. Alright, that, that actually makes sense. Um, an officer ran a plate for a challenger earlier with matching that description, and it had a warrant, but he staked it out for a bit, and no one came back to it, so um, that's really helpful. Oh my god. Alright, let's just go back a bit further. So when, was she in here when you got here or did you come in first? I was in first. She came in a few minutes after me. Okay, and let's go back over the questions she asked you. She asked you a lot about your job and stuff like that. Yeah, so first she, she said she liked my outfit. I think she was just sparking a conversation. And then I said, oh, thank you. And then she asked where I got it. I said, Perseus. And and then we just continued talking, and she was like, "Oh, do you know where that is?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's just near Carcer Way." Uh, then mm -hmm. I told her I like to, you know, buy clothing and stuff um, when I'm stressed out. And then she's like, "Oh, what do you stress out from?" I'm like, 
oh, because of my job and all, you know. And she's like, what's your job? And I said, oh, I'm, I'm an officer. And then she, and then I said I liked her shoes. And then she was like, yeah, that's a stressful uh, Just job. in case he forgot. And then suddenly I, I turn around and she hits me with a pistol. Okay, just hang out here. X-ray, 535. Go ahead. Uh... Person, description, and vehicle, Bolo, when ready. Copy, go ahead with the person. Uh, white female. Wearing, uh, correction, black hairdo with orange highlights. It's gonna be wearing a black leather jacket, blue jeans, and black heels. Possibly armed with a handgun. Uh, the firearm is possibly a Glock. A Glock 17. Reason for Bolo is assault on an off-duty police officer with a deadly weapon. Hey, I found uh, three three shells here. Um, All right. Possibly a pistol. All right. Um, I don't know where her car is. That, to be honest. I don't know where her car is. Um, Roberts, yeah, do you want to ask Roberts where her car is? Um, I'm just going to do this vehicle bolo, okay. and I think I'm wanted on the radio. So just give me a sec. Yep. Five thirty-five. Hey, five for four. I've got that. Uh, uh do you know where your car is? Drive. Uh, Kind of one wheel off the curb here. Sorry, 10 9 you lost. I've got the gray BMW uh, with those bullet holes in it here. Uh, it's on Strangeways Drive, just uh, headed northbound, one wheel off the curb. Copy, I believe 518 is confirming if that's Detective Roberts's um, personal vehicle. So just stand by. Yeah, copy. Uh, I got a uh, plate if you need it. Dispatch, you ready for vehicle bowling? Uh, stand by. Can I have the last scene for the person? Last scene is going to be Strange Ways Drive at the coffee shop at the Bean Machine. <laughs> Get everything put out there. Oh, they're nice heels, love. Uh, vehicle. Hey, Roberts, medics are on the scene. Just get checked out and get them to tell me what's going on, okay? Alright, perfect. 535. Vehicle Bolo is going to be for a black Challenger, um, possibly with green, some set of sort of green pearlescent, um, last seen at the same location. Be advised, they just wanted in questioning um, that vehicle was seen in the area. But it may also be mean driven by our subject. Just to recap though, it's going to be a black Dodge Challenger SRT, black in colour, with a green pearlescent. Copy, and the reason is for questioning? Yeah, questioning into an assault of a police officer. Alright, thanks medic. Does she need to go to the hospital? Make sure if she needs to go to the hospital or not. Check out the new Do you need to go to the hospital with them, Roberts? Uh, no, they said I'd be fine. Alright. Um, whereabouts is your car parked? Oh, it's just right here. The last I checked anyway, I don't know. 
Alright, you want to take a walk down there and just make sure your car's okay? I believe an officer's down there with it. Okay. Find anything else? Uh, nope. Not, nothing I could see around here. Okay, probably got long and far out of here considering they whacked a police officer. Yep. Robert said to me that she was asking a lot of questions about Roberts's job and what she does for a living and stuff like that, and then just suddenly whacked her with a gun. Two seven Tango Charlie Bravo. Mm, interesting. Three, Which is interesting. So, five forty four saying there's bullet holes in her car. She's been whacked. Kind of seems like they're trying to scare her or send her a message, right? Uh, negative. Two seven Tango Charlie Bravo. I don't know. You're the detective. Three, I don't know. You're a police officer. I don't know my job, I, I don't get paid to think. Mm. Oh, you don't get paid to think, okay. You don't get paid to think, it'd probably be a bit hard for you. Yep. Just watch out for that car, it might not be done yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking around. Alright, Robert, is your car okay? Oh, it's got a couple of bullet holes in it. Yeah, and the front right tire is flat. Who have you pissed off recently? I... I don't know. Has it got anything to do with the case that you've been working? Well, the only case I've been really actively working is the one with you. With the... the sisters? Yeah. Could have been Sandrina. Maybe, because when this girl came in, she was kind of eyeing me as if she knew who I was, now that I think about it. Alright, go up to my cruiser, run Sandrina King, and run Kayleen Hansen, and see if any of those mugshots ring any bells, okay? Okay, I'll be back. Actually, just grab the tablet out of my car. I'll have to unlock it for you, though. Okay. What's up, man? Which one's your car? Taurus. I want you guys ride to call oh. for a tow truck. Let's get a smoothie next week, okay? Uh, yep. You wanna take that or should I have that That's about my pay grade as uh, you said your, earlier. Your first something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck you, the hell. <laughs> Actually, you said they ran the plate of a challenger earlier. Who did that come back to? I don't know. Because I swear I've seen this. I believe it was 489 who'd ran the plane. Is he on scene? No. Was this gauntlet up here when you were up here earlier? Yeah. Alright. Hey, who's. Hey, um, Dan, can you just run that plate on that gauntlet that's in front of the Explorer? Just make sure that's not. Yeah, connected. that's what I was gonna do. Right, have you grabbed the tablet, Roberts? Yeah. Alright. I, I doubt it was Sandrina, because you would have remembered her, because you interviewed her. And I'm pretty sure she's still in yeah, lockup. It's, it's not Sandrina. Yeah. Who was the other one? Hanson? Kayleen Hanson. Remember, she said that she had a friend called Kayleen, and that we. She made a, some sort of remark towards mm -hmm. the kids and said that we wanted, we should do whatever or something. Yeah. You alright? Well, that. Yeah. Because no, the fact to me good. that they whacked you on the head with a gun and shot up your car is kind of, to me, sending a message that you need to back off whatever you're doing. Yeah. It's not her either? No. Okay. 
But I swear I've seen this girl before. All right. All right, if you remember anything, then just let me know, okay? Yeah. Okay. Are, you, are you going to work or are you going home? I think I'm just gonna go home and rest. All right, if you go home, you don't do anything stupid, okay? Okay, I'll if try not to. If you remember anything, you let us know. Yep, I will. Um, how are you gonna get a taxi or something? Yeah, I'm just gonna get a taxi and go home. Whereabouts do you live again? I'm on the other side of town. Can I pick it up for you later? Okay. Not okay. far, just in Vinewood. If the dog wants lasagna, Officer, do you want to run her home lasagna. for me? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I got it. No problem. Perfect. Plates on that uh, car up there were clean, so. Alright. Awesome. All right, you're, you're free to go, Roberts. This officer will take you home. All right, I'm just gonna put your towel up. You might want to do a perimeter check of a property as well. Look out for any suspicious vehicles. Yeah, we'll do. Do you want a protective detail? No, I think I'll be fine. All right. I don't know where Sahel went with. Officer Dickie McGee, is he in his car? Nope. Enter 544. 544, show me 1098. We're here. Also, 1106. Our picture here. Mind if I use your laptop real quick? I can't be advised when you're back tonight. Stars is looking up shit. 544, welcome. Uh, going off duty and getting whacked. Oof. We can't see what Dickie McGee's. I think he's just waiting for a tow truck. That's my guess. You just waiting for a tow, McGee? Ah, uh, yep. All right. Well, that's your job, like you stated. So, I'll see you out there. Be safe. Yep. Yep. Do the thinking. Oh mm-hmm. <laughs> Do the thinking. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to clear off here, um, we're going to go and hit the streets, um, hopefully Roberts might come up with some ID, she might remember a bit more or something and let us know, but anyway, we're going to hit the streets and we're going to canvas for the vehicle, so let's get back out there. X-ray 535. Good. You can show me off this scene and back tonight. I can't on X-ray 535 to 98 tonight. Uh, I think my car's actually unlocked. 